Hey guys, this is part 2 of the series on our Spring Boot project. In this video, let us implement the methods of the service layer and add derived queries and custom queries in the repository layer. Let us jump into the application directly. We will start from the service layer. Let me open product service IMPL. This product service IMPL is a service class, so it should be annotated with that service. Next, we need to call the methods of iProduct repository. iProduct repository extends Mongo repository. So we need to auto wire iProduct repository in product service IMPL. Let me add the property iProduct repository. I will use the constructor, generate constructor using fields. So in case of constructor based dependency injection, you don't have to use the annotation at auto wire. For add product, update product, delete product, get all and get by id, we will be using the inbuilt methods of Mongo repository. Let me open iProduct repository. This extends Mongo repository. Keep the cursor here, control click. Now we are in Mongo repository. The super interface of Mongo repository is list crud repository. This list crud repository, list paging and sorting repository, they were all introduced later from uh, Spring Boot 3.0. Let me click on List Cred Repository. It is available since 3.0. This List Cred Repository extends Cred Repository. Earlier, in older versions, Mongo Repository was extending Cred Repository directly. And in that, you have a method as save all and find all. The return type of these two methods are iterable. Now, from Spring Boot 3.0, they have introduced list cred repository. In this case, the return type of save all and find all method is a list itself. So, that is the reason they have introduced list cred repository. That is, in case of cred repository, the return type of these methods were iterable. They are extending this cred repository into list cred repository to add more functionalities. The same method save all and find all is now returning list. The Mongo repository now is extending list cred repository. Since we are working with MongoDB, we are extending Mongo repository. If you are going to work with MySQL, you can extend JPA repository. That is the only change you need to do in this particular application. But here we have used features. If you are going to use MySQL as the database, you need to use one more annotation as one to one. Okay, let us stick on to MongoDB only. Let me go into product service IMPL class. Let me start adding the methods. Now, using this product repository, I need to call the method. There is a method called as insert. You can notice it over here. Insert, it takes entity as parameter. So the entity that I need to pass over here should be product. But what I am getting is product DTO. So I need to convert product DTO into a product object. So for that, let us use our product mapper. Let me add private product mapper, product mapper. We need to auto wire this also. So you can either add it in the constructor or add a auto wide annotation. For this, let me add a auto wide annotation above the field. So, using this product mapper, I need to convert my product DTO into a product object. So, let me choose the second method convert to product by passing the product DTO. The return type is a product object. Now, I can call the method insert and pass the entity product. Similarly, let us work on the update product method. So, I need to use this line again, product mapper dot convert to product and in this case, the method is save, save by passing the product object. In case of save method, you need to notice one thing, when you are passing the product object with the id, in the backend it will check whether this id is available, if the id is available, the particular product document will be updated. If the ID is not available and if you have asked to auto generate the ID, 
it will assume that you are inserting a new document and it will create a new document and insert it into the database. Now let me move on to the next method product repository dot delete by id by passing the product id and in case of get all let me call the method product repository dot find all method see now this method is from list crud repository it's not from mongo repository it's from list crud repository earlier we used to call this method from crud repository you can have a look over here it is given now in our case it is going to return a list of products list of product products is equal to product repository dot find all now i need to convert this list of product into list of product dpo for this let us use the streams api of java 8 products dot stream dot map map takes function as parameter it takes an input of one type and converts it into an output of another type so in this case let me pass product arrow i need to convert this product into a product dto object so use the method of product mapper product mapper dot convert into dto by passing the product and now i need to convert it back into a list the method is dot collect and use collectors dot to list from java 16 they have introduced a new method called as to list which will help to convert it into list automatically this is from java 16 the return type is list of product dto and return product dtos now the next method is get by id for get by id also we will be using the inbuilt method of mongo repository now in this case product repository dot find by id by passing the id in this case it is product id this find by id returns an optional so if you want to retrieve the product from this optional we need to call the get method if the product is not available it may throw no such element exception so to avoid that we can go in for a method called as or else throw if the object is available return the object if the object is not available throw the exception this or else throw takes supplier as parameter in case of supplier the method is get it doesn't take any parameter that is any input but it returns an output so explicitly we need to write throw new invalid id exception i can pass invalid id and i want to write it in a single line so in that case i will remove the curly braces and no need of throw keyword also that's all now the return type of this is product if the product is available it will return the product if the product is not available it will throw the exception now I cannot return the product directly to the controller. I need to convert it into product DTO object. So using product mapper, we can convert it. So let me call the method product mapper dot convert to DTO by passing the product. So the input that is coming from the controller is of type product DTO. When I have to send it to the database, I need to convert it into product. That's what we have done in these two cases. Similarly, when you are querying the database, the result that you are getting from the database can be a list of products or one single product. Now, when you want to send it back to the controller, you need to convert it back into a DTO object and send it back to the controller. So, we have completed using all the inbuilt methods that is insert, save, delete by ID, find all, find by ID. Now, let us move on to the next type of methods get by brand get by category get by color get by brand and lesser price in case of get by brand and get by category we are trying to retrieve the list of products based on a particular property so directly we can go in for derived queries so let us move on to the repository i product repository here let us add the derived query the derived query can start with find by or read by 
or get by. Now in this case, I prefer to use find by. Find by brand by passing brand, string brand. In the return type is list of product. Similarly, we can do it for find by category also. In case of category, category is also a property in the product class. Here you can notice, category is a property in the product class. Now, let me give it as find by category. category. Let us call these two methods in the product service IMPL. It is similar to that of what we have done in get all. So, let me copy paste this and I will modify it. In case of get by brand, Call the method product repository dot find by brand by passing the brand. Now, before converting the list of product into product DTOs, you need to check if the product list is empty. If it is empty, you need to throw product not found exception. Products dot is empty. Then throw new product not found exception. By passing product with this brand not available. If it is not empty, convert the list of products into product DTOs and return the product DTOs. Similarly, let us do it for get by category. Let me remove this collect method. Now di directly I am using to list method only. Let us do it for get by category. In case of get by category, I wanted to tell you one thing. If you notice in I product repository, I am passing the input as string array as category. Why? Because the data type of category is an array. So, when you are using it as a derived query, category is of type array. So, you need to pass it as an array only. In case of product service IMPL, what we have given is string category. So, let us modify it. Let me go to I product service. Here, let me give it a string category. Even if it is a single value, please pass it as an array only. In product service IMPL, I will change the string category. And now, let us call the method. Find by category by passing category. And product with this category not available. Rest of the things are all same. Let us move on to the last two methods. Get by color and get by brand and lesser price. For these two methods, of course, we can write derived queries. Let us try in both the ways by writing derived queries and also by using custom queries. Let me go to I product repository. So, in case of find by color, find by color is not a property of product. But in case of product, you are having a property as features. In features, you are having a property as color. So, the derived query in this case will be Find by features. This features is not the name of the class but the name of the property that you have given here. So, the query will be something like find by features color. I hope you can understand. When you are writing the derived query, the derived query always starts with find by, read by or get by followed by the property name. In case of brand, the property name is brand, so we have given find by brand. In case of category, the property name is category, so we have given find by category. But in case of find by color, we don't have a property as color. But product has features as instance variable. Features is a class by itself and this features is having color as instance variable. So now how we can write it is find by features F capital. We are using only the property name. Suppose if you have given it as feet, then you need to give it as find by feet, not find by features. So here it is find by features, color. In features, we are having color, so I can pass it directly. So it is something like this, find by features, color, by passing string color. The return type is list of product, find by features, color. And for the next method, it is get by brand and lesser price. In this case, the derived query will look like find by brand and
price less than. This is a derived query. You can go on checking the Spring documentation. You can notice how they have written the derived queries. You can write the derived queries like find by first name and last name, find by name or city, find by price less than, find by price less than or equal, find by price greater than equal. So there are many different ways of writing the derived query. Why we are not suggesting derived queries for this is the method name is so big. Instead of writing it, I can go in for a simpler method name and use custom query. Now as of now, let us stick on to derived query. String brand comma double price. The return type again is going to be a list of product. So all these are derived queries. Now let me show you how to write custom queries for the last two methods. Custom query. Now in this case, let me use the method name as find by color only. By passing string color, the return type should be a list of product. In case of custom query, the method should be annotated with at query annotation. Within this at query annotation, we need to pass our query within double quotes, within curly braces. Color is not a property of product. It is a property of features. Features is an instance variable of product. We need to give it as features dot color colon question mark zero representing the first parameter. Similar to this, let us write a custom query for find by brand and price less than. Let me shorten the method name find by brand price and let me annotate it with at query annotation. Within quotes, let us add the query. The property name is brand colon dollar zero comma price colon it is it has to be price less than we should use only price because price is a property of product but cost is the field name in our collection so we are querying with regard to java so we have to use only the property name price price colon because we are using an operator within curly braces dollar less than colon question mark one if you notice, in this case, we have given single quotes. Because there is a dot operator in between, we have to use single quotes. But in case of brand and price, they are direct properties from the product class, so we can use it directly. This query also can be written in one other way as at query within quotes, curly braces, dollar add, colon, within square bracket, curly brace again, brand colon question mark zero comma price colon again we are using an operator so within curly braces dollar less than colon question mark one so either you can add your custom query in this manner or you can use the dollar and operator to provide the query because we are trying to get the list of products by brand and price less than i'll go back to product service impl let us write the code for get by color and get by brand. I will copy the same code from the previous method and let me modify it. So in this case it is find by features color. I am using the derived query only. Product with this color not available. And for the last method find by brand and price less than by passing brand and price. Product in this brand and lesser price not available. So here I have given get by color as brand. Modify that in I product service also. Copy pasting is the issue. So now our product service IMPL is over. We have called all the methods of I product repository based on our requirement. In the next video, we will convert the Spring Boot application into a Spring REST API. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you.